What's going on guys? Today, we're going to be going over my long-awaited settings video. The three things we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to go over my in-game settings. I'm going to go over my own custom config files. And then I'm going to be going over my reshade, which applies to the game to change the way the colors and the sharpness and all that looks. So we're going to take the game from looking like the way it does right now and turning it into this. Now, me personally, I like this a lot more. I like how it's brighter, it's sharper, you can see things more, the colors are out there. I just like the game being brighter. And I feel like overall, this is a lot more appealing to watch and to play as. That being said, let's go right into my own settings for in-game. So first off, we're going to go to graphics and basic. I play the game on full screen native. I don't like stress res in this game, it just makes things look a little too weird for me. So 1920 by 1080. My V-Sync is disabled. My frame rate is on unlimited. Frame rate smoothing. Uncheck. Brightness, one. A lot of people you'll see, they have this put the five, which is default. I feel like the game is still a little too dark like that. So I just slam that the one. There you go. Game's brighter already. Okay. Then we're going to go AMD SFR off resolution scaling 100. This is how well everything looks. If you switch this to 80, things will start getting pixelated. See how my hair and stuff is a little more pixelated. My body's a little pixelated. So if you want things to be sharp, have this higher. If you drop it even more, it'll be a little more noticeable. See that? So I have that set to 100. That way the game looks as clean as possible. There you go. Okay, <laughs> moving on to the advanced settings. My view just is on ultra. That helps render things from a distance. I can see the planes in the sky. You can see more stuff on buildings from a distance, right? It's, if this hurts your PC, it shouldn't. Just lower it. I'd play on high, but I'd keep this a little higher. Everything else for the most part is low. I'm going to go down the line still, but like material quality, low. Texture quality, low. Texture filtering, I have on 8th. Effects is low. Foliage is low. Lighting quality, low. Volumetric fog quality, off. That more. Ambient occlusion, off. Screen space reflection, off. Shadow quality, off. Anti-aliasing, off. Subsurface scattering, off. Motion blur, off. Chromatic aberration, off. Film grain, off. Bloom, off. Lens flare, off. Light shafts, off. Now, some of these don't matter because the uh, content files is going to alter it anyways. So, but this is what I do. Just everything off for the most part, just to get as much off my screen as I can in the way of like stuff I don't want there. Just help me focus on hitting my shots, right? So that's what I have for the in-game files. Now let's move on to my config. Okay, so we're going to go through my custom config files for Blood Hunt. I'm going to do the whole walkthrough and show you how to get there and set everything up. So first you're going to go down to the bottom in your search bar. You're going to go percent. App data percent. Now percent is the shift five. This is going to bring up your roaming files. So when you're looking at roaming, you're going to go click back one on the top to app data. This will bring up your local file. So double click local. After clicking local, you're going to look for Tiger. That's the engine of Blood Hunt. Double click Tiger. You're going to go to save config windows no editor and you're going to see game user settings if you double click game user settings you can bring up file so this is your config file so what you're going to want to do is you're going to right click on config file or your right click on your game user settings go to property make sure read only is unticked okay you're going to have to have that unchecked while you're editing the file when you're done editing the file, we're going to recheck that. So this is my custom config file. I'm going to have this entire thing copy and pasted in the description. So go grab this from the video. More or less, every single thing here is all set to low or set to as good as you can possibly get it for your game to run smooth. Now, my effects quality is set to three, which is the highest. The reason why is this is how you see Saboteur invis while the config is still applied. Without this, the saboteur, they would not have that cloak around them that you can see. So everything is just set to zero or false or everything that you can get as good as you can for frames. Then effects quality is set to three. That way you are still able to see saboteur while he is in this. So this would be the description. All you do is you just copy and paste it. So you come over here. You delete the config that's there. Your whatever your config is already set to. And you're going to paste the config that I have in the description. You're going to close it. This save, come back to game user settings, properties, and turn on read only. 
what read only does is it makes it where the game when you boot up it can't change those files it has think of it like you have to read only what's there so none of these can be altered if you change these in game they will automatically get set back to this when you boot the game up again so that's why some of the settings it just truly does not matter and that's my config now we're going to move on to my reshade settings okay so we're back on blood hunt i'm going to explain reshade slightly before we continue and i go to the website and everything so reshade it is a software or program i guess that is applied to your game so it's not it's kind of like an overlay but it's not if that makes sense because it's applied to my game so when i am recording blood hunt it's still applied to that recording it is within the game i have two hotkeys set one hotkey brings up my screen of reshade so you can see I have three things applied to my reshade. These are very basic things. Technicolor 2, Luma Sharpen, and SMAA. This just changes the way the game looks. So with the settings I have inside these things, you can see I can bring it up. Luma Sharpen. These are my Luma Sharpen settings, my SMA color uh, settings, and this is my Technicolor 2 settings. So I just have it set to performance mode. Come to settings. My, my hotkeys are shift 0 and shift 9. So my overlay is shift 0. So when I hit shift 0, it's going to go away. Shift 9 is going to toggle it so see how it just brightens up the game a little bit makes the colors a little more vibrant that you can apply more harsh reshades you can test with the colors yourself you can kind of see what you like to have applied to your game so with that being said i'm going to show how to apply it now okay so we're back at my desktop now so what we do from this point on is you're going to head to google you're going to head to this link here i'm going to put this in the description so you can go get it from there you're going to scroll down to the bottom of this web page. You can read about it if you want. You're going to see download. Version 5.1.0 was released on April 9th, 2022. So we're going to hit download reshade. Now when reshade is done downloading, you can click on it. This is just a setup and it instantly will load up. This is how simple this program is to use. So my reshade is now open. So I'm going to quickly go to TigerWin64, which is Blood Hunt, And I'm going to uninstall my reshade finish so now my game is the same as what everybody else's game is going to be there's nothing applied to it there's no reshade applied to it so i'm going to go down to the bottom i'm going to type in reshade reshade setup 5.1.exe it's going to load up reshade setup again and i'm going to scroll down until i see tiger win 64 this is blood hunt so we're going to double click on that we're going to choose direct x 10 11 12 as the api hit next and it says select preset to install. Now you guys won't have a preset, but I'm going to put a media share or something to like a Dropbox, I don't know, of my reshade files in the description. So you can get it from there if you want that, or you can mess with it yourself. So I'm going to hit browse. I'm at this PC desktop reshade because I have a folder made for it. And that's going to go with my Dead by Daylight colors. So I just hit that. Then I can hit next, next. Just like that, my reshade is applied. So now I'm going to hit finish. I'm going to open Bloodhunt back up. Okay, now I'm loading Bloodhunt back up. So you can see up in the top, it says reshade is successfully installed. Press home to start the tutorial. Okay, so now you have to have a keyboard that has a home button. Usually it's a full-size keyboard. So I'm going to hit home because I have two keyboards Salutation. plugged in. I have my 60% and I have my full size. So I'm going to hit home on my full size. Just like that, I bring up the overlay. I'm going to hit skip tutorial because I know what I'm doing. And you can see already Technicolor 2, Luma Sharp, and SMAA are already applied. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to reset my old keybinds. So for overlay, I have shift 0. And to toggle the effects, I have the shift 9. Now I'm going to go back to home and hit performance mode. So now you can see how the game already looks different. So if I come look at lights like this, you can see I can turn it off and on. See how everything gets brighter, a little clearer. If I come look at the skins that's in the shop right now, you can see like the reds on this. See how everything gets a little dimmer. I personally like everything being a bit more brighter, a little more saturated, a little just more appealing to the eye, right? So you can see. But this is how I make it look more personalized for me. This is my settings, this is my in game, this is my config, this is my reshade settings for Blood Hunt as of right now. If anything changes in the upcoming weeks or when the update comes in june if things change that i think would be necessary to let people know i will make a new video then if you have any questions just ask them in the comments below i'll get to everybody as fast as i can and i hope you guys enjoy it it's gone much love